guys, who murdered the bees? We have a murder mystery. 24th of August, the Netherlands, 2021. It is late summer and the fields of heather are blooming, turning the landscape beautifully purple. For pollinators, it is great news as the blooming fields of heather attract all sorts of insects, even a wide selection of butterflies, from common species to rare species, from small to large, feeding on the nectar of the flowers. Insects truly know how to take advantage of the sweet nectar. Honeybees. It is said that honey made with heather flowers has a unique flavor to it. Humans also know how to exploit the bloom of the heather flowers by placing the hives next to the field of flowering heather. Beekeepers know how to exploit this natural event and manage to produce unique heather flower honey. But as with anything in nature, this does not come easy. Something is killing the bees. Lurking in the shadows there is a honeybee serial killer. But who? And why? And how? Let's investigate the killer. Could it be this four spot orb weaver perhaps? Hmm, no it's not. Spiders don't scatter the bee, bee corpses around like this. Let's investigate a little bit further today in nature vlogs. Let's start the intro. to catch a murderer. Tip number one. Observe the crime scene. Sometimes the killers return to the crime scene. Gotcha. All right, people. So here in the sandy soils, we see the nest of an interesting little insect. It's called a bee wolf. As the name implies, it's not a bee. It's actually a wasp species, but it's name, named after its eating habits. Bee wolves almost exclusively kill and hunt bees. Let me show you. Let's solve the murder mystery today in these fields of heather. Our first clue is the sandy soils around the heather flowers. And in fact, creature that is lurking in the sandy burrows that can be seen on the ground. Meet the bee wolf, Philanthus triangulatum, the European bee wolf, also known as the bee killer wasp. This solitary wasp is found all over Europe, but also all the way down south up to tropical Africa. And indeed this insect mainly hunts and kills honeybees and their relatives and nothing else. It's a specialist bee murderer. The European bee wolf seems to have one to three broods a year. The warmer the climate, the more broods that they have. Female European bee wolves excavate their burrows in sandy soil or in vertical soil, soil faces in open sunny places. And these can be up to a meter in length with no less than three and as many as 34 short side tunnels at the end, each of which contains a brood cell. The material displaced by the burrowing wasp is flicked behind it as it excavates the nest. They nest in aggregations, which may have as many as 15,000 burrows. The females hunt honeybees, or Apis mellifera, which are paralyzed with the stinger, the females stinging the prey through the articular membranes, which are situated behind the front legs. And then the female carries the immobilized bee to the nest in flight between the two wasps' legs. On reaching the nest, she often hovers over the entrance before slowly descending into the burrow and then dragging the bee with her inside, burrowing it alive. Each brood cell is provisioned 
between 1 and 5 honeybees for the larva. That's right, they paralyze the bees and burrow the paralyzed bees alive so that their larva can slowly eat them alive. Male bee wolves gather together in the form of a lek, where each male defends a small territory and uses pheromone to attract the female. After this, males play no further part in the nesting process. Female bee wolves have to work a lot harder digging a nest burrow in the sandy bank or floor. These burrows can be a meter long, with up to 34 side burrows that end in brood chambers. Once excavation has begun on the burrow, the female goes hunting. Female bee wolves prey on honey bee workers, paralyzing them with a sting and carrying them back to their burrow. Up to six paralyzed honeybees are placed in each brood chamber and then a single egg is laid on one of the honeybees and the chamber is then sealed with sand. After hatching the larva feeds on the cage of honeybees before spinning a cocoon to hibernate through winter, ready to emerge in spring. Solitary bees and wasps, along with many of our other often overlooked insects, are important pollinators for all kinds of plants including those which we rely on, like fruit trees. Visible from June to October in warm autumns and summers, with a life as flying adults of up to six weeks, bee wolves vary dramatically in size according to sex and location, from 8 mm to 27 mm. Their coloring is not consistent either, with some having much more yellow on the abdomen than others. Female orientates herself by flying around her nest site every time she goes on a hunting trip. The honeybees caught are embalmed with a secretion from a postpharyngeal gland prior to egg laying. This food wrapping is known to delay fungus infestation of the prey and allows less water loss in the dry areas where the bee wolf breeds. The egg hatches in three to two days and the larva eats all the food in its cell within a fortnight. This was a short educational video about the bee wolf, a native pollinator and fascinating solitary wasp yeah. species. Consider helping me crowdfund this demonetized channel. This channel raises awareness for the biology and conservation of insects like these. YouTube does not support my channel and I am demonetized. I completely depend on donations to produce more videos. Join us on Patreon, but other means are available too in the description. Higher level patrons even receive special rewards like mugs with insects on them that I have personally designed myself. If you haven't joined our bug club yet, you are totally missing out. See you next video. Bye bye.